Today I'm doing my February empties. First I'm going to start out with some declutters. There's quite a few things here, so. Getting rid of this um, Dove deodorant. It went bad, so, you yeah. Getting rid of this um, Pure Moist contact solution. I'm, I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. I no longer have contacts, so I'm just getting rid of that. Same thing with these Equate contact lens wetting drops. Don't need them. This Natasha Denona shadow. The formula is very poor and it's also very soft and it crumbles every time I use it. So it's just getting thrown away. I'm also getting rid of this INM highlighter. I got this in my Yes Oh Yas box. It arrived to be busted. I already have like something similar to that, so I'm just gonna throw that away. I have this Medusa's makeup. What the heck is on here? Um, Eye Dust in Desert Storm. Um, I'm decluttering this. Um, this was part of my 19 and 19. I I'm, must be sensitive to something that's in this formula, so I'm getting rid of the Medusa makeup that was in the project. Same thing with this one, the Chris Ayor. This one's getting decluttered as well. But I'm going to see if one of my friends wants this, so. Um, this Elf Hydration Moisturizer, I think, went bad, so, because it smells really weird, so I'm going to throw this away. I have a bunch of lip products that are going. Um, this is the, what are you, Rimmel Berry Blush. This went bad. I didn't even get a chance to use it. I bought this at the same time as I bought that, so they're just going to both go right in the trash. I have these Too Faced Melted Latex. I got these in a swap. Um... They've all been used. The girl said they were new. I'm not putting these anywhere near my face, so they're getting thrown away. I'm getting rid of this Skin Chemist London Rose Quartz Youth Defense Lip Plump. This smells like toothpaste. It's disgusting. I'm getting rid of it. This is the Winky Lux. You, um, Unicorn Tears Lip Gloss. I don't like it. It smells weird and it's sticky, so it's getting thrown away. I'm decluttering this MAC lipstick in the shade Cling It On. The lipstick went bad. I've already taken it out. I don't know if you guys can tell what color it was. It was like a purplish black. I am going to keep the package because it's the 50th anniversary Star Trek package, so I'm going to keep the package. But the lipstick was thrown out. I'm getting rid of all these AOA Studio lipsticks that I have. They, they smell disgusting. And I'm not going to put them anywhere near my face, so these are all going to go. Um, I have this L'Oreal Infallible Paints Metallics in the shade Studded. This went bad. I got, um, the, the girls picked this out for me when we did the My Best Friend's Kids Buy My Makeup. This went bad, so I'm going to throw that away. And this last one that I'm decluttering is the Beauty Creations. 
matte lip gloss and mocha. This formula is very strange. It's very sticky. It's like you slathered on super glue on your lips because it takes a bit to pull them apart after you put this on. So nice color, but bad formula. Okay, let's get into home stuff, personal stuff. This is the Vitafusion Melatonin Sugar-Free Sleep Support Gummies. This was the ginormous bottle. It's 140 gummies. This is in the flavor white tea with passion fruit. These are pretty good. I like the strawberry ones, and these ones taste pretty good too. The um, chamomile and blueberry ones that they have are disgusting. Don't buy those. Get the white tea or the strawberry ones. I used up a Dove dry spray. This is nice. I do have, I have repurchased them already, so continue to buy those. Finished up the Natural Dentist um, Peppermint Twist mouthwash. This was disgusting. I'll just go back to my Tom's. I won't buy this again. We used up some hydrogen peroxide. That's really fun, right? <laughs> um, we actually um, spray down our electric toothbrushes with this after we use the, um, we use them every night. So that's what we used us for. We used up a uh, soft soap ghoulish vanilla hand soap. This was good. Um, this was from Halloween. Um, I get it again if they have it next year, so. Or this year for Halloween. Duh. I uh, Anyway. I have the Equate Immune Support Vitamin C Gummies. These are good. I will, I always repurchase these. I think I need to go to the store and get another one. So, yeah. Or I may have one. I'll have to look in the cabinet. Um, I used up this Crest Gum Detoxify in Extra Fresh. This is okay. I don't think I'd buy it again. But it, it, it was just toothpaste, you know? Okay. Um, hair stuff. I used up the Form Multitask Leave-In Lotion. This was... Okay, it made my hair kind of greasy. Um, you can overuse it really quickly because it, it's a spray out one. So I don't think I'd ever get this again. Uh, let's see. Any more hair stuff? Yeah. This is the Matrix Biolage Fiber Strong for Fragile Hair Shampoo and Conditioner. I don't know, I, it was fine, it was a shampoo and conditioner, I don't think it really did much to my hair. Um, let's see, it's all the hair stuff I think. Have some little mini perfumes, this is the Dior, Miss Dior, um, absolutely blooming eau de perfume. This is crap. I wouldn't buy this again. I have the Lancome La Vie Espelle perfume. I tried this before and I didn't like it then and I still don't like it now. Then I have the Victor and Rolf Flower Balm perfume. Um, I will be putting this on my list uh, on Sephora so I will be purchasing that sometime in the future. <laughs> okay. I used up the Moschino Funny Perfumed Bath and Shower Gel and the Body Lotion. It says gel on here, but it's actually body lotion, but it's a gel. 
I don't know, it's kind of weird. I use these up. I do like the fragrance. I don't think I'd buy these again. They're alright, but mm. stick with the perfume. Mm. I used up, finally, the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Deep Dive Cleansing Gel. I hated the smell of this, but it was a nice formula. I, if they didn't have a scent in it, it would be okay. So, what if we purchase that? I have this Vitamin C um, Facial Serum from Jazz Claire. It was alright. Um, I don't think I'd repurchase it again. I think I have one more because the company sent it to me. So I will use it, but I won't repurchase it again. Um, I have the This Works Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. I really do like this. Um, I have a couple other sleep sprays to go through before I repurchase this, so this is a definite repurchase. This is the Spa Scriptions Rose Gel Face Mask. This is okay. I wouldn't repurchase it again. I just don't. I didn't like the rose scent in it. I like rose water, but not rose masks. I know I'm weird. I have two of these little samples of the hyaluronic acid from Myzon. These are alright. I don't think I'd buy them again. I have the Belief True, True Cream Aqua Bomb. This is really nice. Um, I'd probably get it again. I'll wait till a Sephora sale or something because it's kind of pricey. I have this Ole Henriksen Balance Pore Balance Facial Sauna Scrub. I did not like this. It has volcanic sand in it, which which basically when it, it goes on your face, it'll warm it up. And it's not a very nice feeling, and it was slightly irritating. So if anybody out there that has sensitive skin, please be mindful of this. This is the Ollie Bell Cover Dot Acne Care. These are like the little acne um, band-aids, stickers, whatever you want to call them. Um, these are a cruelty-free brand. These do work. Um, I don't get acne all that often, so this... I have two more of these little packets. They'll last me forever, so... But if I do need to buy more, I will buy more of this kind. Because I've tried a few other ones and I just, I mean they work, but I just didn't like them as much as I like these. So. Okay. Then I have this uh, Zanilini Lucille uh, Body Spray. This was Leather, Fire, and Rain. Um, this is, um, I like to call this like a unisex scent because a man or a woman could wear this. It has like a, kind of like a, um, like a musky type scent to it, which I really like. So if women, if women like deeper scents, check this one out. It's not just for a man. It can be worn as a woman as well. Next I have this Esfolio Hand and Nail Vital Mask. These are alright. Um, I don't think they do very much, at least for me. So I'll, I have like four more of these because I bought a, the pack at um, TJ Maxx. So there's four more. I'll, I'll use them. I mean, they just don't really do much for me. I mean, they're nice for the first few minutes after you take the mask off, but after that, yeah. It's alright. <laughs> then we have the Skin Iceland Nordic Skin Peels um, cloths. This is really nice, but they're kind of expensive. 
Um, I do like this brand, but I don't know if I'd seek these out again. Maybe if they're on sale or something. Maybe. I don't know. It's maybe. <laughs> then I have two of these uh, Sunday Riley Autocorrect uh, eye serums. This is nice. Um, I don't know if they really do much for me. I mean, they they feel nice, but I don't think I'd buy the full size. I have one more that I'm using. Um, these are kind of ex on the expensive side for these little samples. I'm kind of surprised. I'll have um, I'll have my totals and stuff listed down below. Okay. Um, anyway, yeah, I wouldn't buy the full size. I think I said that. Anyway, this is the Pacifica Seafoam Complete Face Wash. This is really nice. I really like the scent on this. It has um, coconut water and sea algae complex. Um, it cleanses your face, tones your face, and it removes makeup. So it's a great little three-in-one product. I go and buy the full size the next time I need some face wash. Then I have the St. Ives Energizing Coconut and Coffee Scrub. I beat this thing to death because I, I do like the scent on this. Um, it is a little messy, so I don't think I'd buy it again because of the coffee grounds that are in the scrub. It, it's not very fun to clean up, let's just put it that way. Nice scent, but if they could maybe remove the coffee grounds out of it and maybe put something else in it as a scrub, wouldn't be so bad. But I wouldn't buy this again. Then I have um, from Curology, um, this is the small bottle um, that you get for free for signing up. All you have to do is pay shipping and handling. Um, what you do on Curology is you um, fill out a questionnaire and send pictures in of yourself and a provider that is chosen for you will go over your, your quiz and your pictures and will uh, prescribe you your own personalized moisturizer. So, um, mine was 4% um, clindamycin, 1% some kind of acid and another um, antibiotic. It, um, those ingredients will help reduce fine lines, sunspots, and acne if you get them. And it's really been helping my skin. I see some of the spots that I do have on my skin lightening. I mean, they're not, haven't fully gone away, but they're lightening. So I'm really enjoying this. It's not really bad. It's um, $19.95 a month. Um, if you want the super bottle, it's $39 every two months because you'll get uh, one big bottle which equals two of these, so, yeah. Not a bad price, I, I think. I mean, some skincare that doesn't have all those good ingredients costs probably way more. I mean, if you're looking for a nice name brand skincare, but check this out. I mean, for one month free, I mean, it's worth a try. I mean, $4.95 shipping isn't bad to pay for something like this that's prescribed to your personal needs for your skin. This is the Evolderm Micellar Water. This is like a French or Canadian, no, it's made in France. Um, that's a micellar water. It was alright. It removed makeup. Um, I wouldn't buy it again. I got it from Ross. It was on sale for four bucks. So, I have two of these Kirkland Daily Facial Towelettes. 
I think they changed the formula on these. Now they have micellar water in them. Um, the original is fine. I, I'd buy these again. I have a few more packages of other micellar wipes to go through before I buy these again, but I would repurchase them. They are very nice. I used up a package of cotton rounds. I have a few more. These are nice. I'd buy them again. I use them for my nail polish removing. Um, I make up serum sometimes. So, you know, they're pretty good. I used up um, Yes2 Cotton uh, Comforting Facial Wipes. You guys know this is my favorite line from Yes2, which they discontinued. Um, the wipes weren't that great. Um, this little door busted, so I had to rip them open and put them in something else. So, they're alright, but I can't buy them if I, even if I wanted to repurchase them again. So, anyway, I used up one uh, color on this Jouer, uh High Coverage Liquid Concealer Sampler because it was the only one that was close enough to my skin tone. It was, um, let me see what one it was. I think it was called Custard. It was this one here. It wasn't too bad. I don't know if I'd seek out the full size or not. I mean, I know I can't really tell from a sampler, but... I just didn't like the way it laid on my on, on my under eye. It was it wasn't pretty after a few hours. Let's put it that way. I used up this um, agave lip balm and agave sugar lip scrub. I like the agave lip balm, but I hate the sugar scrub. I know I'm probably gonna get crucified for saying that, but that, I don't like it. Not, not everybody likes everything, so. I'd probably buy the Agave Lip Balm in the full size, but I'll skip the lip scrub. I have other lip scrubs I like a lot better than that. That was terrible. Next, I used up this Essie Top Coat. I have no idea what got all over everything, but... I have no idea. There. This Essie Top Coat. This was okay. I wouldn't buy this again. It just wasn't that good. After a couple days of wearing it, it my you nail know, polish was chipping underneath, so it's like... I don't have time for that. <laughs> I'm glad it's gone. I used up this Real Technique sponge. These are nice. Um, I've never ever had a beauty blender, so I wouldn't know what one is like, but I do like these. They're affordable, and I generally find them always pretty much on sale at Ulta, so I get these again. I used up this um, Hershey Kisses. Um, this one it was in Chocolate Mint or something like that. This was alright. I wouldn't seek these out again, so it was okay. Used up a uh, lip smacker. This was um, Elsa's scent, this or flavor, Winterberry Frost. This was good. I love lip smacker. I've always loved lip, lip smacker. It's been a favorite of mine since I was a kid, so. Love that. Finished up a uh, Cold Stone Creamery Birthday Cake Lip Balm. This wasn't that good. I wouldn't buy it again, so. I used up this Rodile Stem Cell Superfood Glam Balm Lip Balm. It was alright. I didn't like it. It was fine. I wouldn't buy it again. I used up this Glaze and Lip Glaze from Butter London in the shade Fairy Dust. Um, I used up about half of it before it started stinking on me, so. I'm still going to count this in my beauty empties because I did use up what I could of it before it croaked, so. I used up this Coloriche uh, Balm in the shade Caramel Comfort. 
it was kind of like a kind of like um colorless cap was the color it was so um it was pretty good i i got this on clearance at walmart when they're clearancing them out so i'm not sure if they even sell these anymore so it was all right for what it was this was terrible however in my last empty this is color story lip balm and the shade almond um, let's put it this way butthole lips are not pretty and that's what that gave me so I just wore it at night so who cares you know <laughs> yeah wouldn't seek this out this was a terrible formula it was okay for putting it on at night or if I need something to moisturize my lips but I would never buy this again and that is it and um, hope you guys enjoyed my empties um, click uh, the bell if you'd like some more notifications from me subscribe if you have not and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys